Hi folks, Chuck McKevin here. Got a short little video about uh, watching your blade wear. This is the area of the of the wheel that we hard face right here. And if you notice, hopefully it stays in focus. All those bumps. Uh, that's tungsten carbide. That's pure tungsten carbide. It's the same stuff that's right here. It's the same stuff that's behind the diamond. The diamond's a little black strip out here on the end, and the tungsten carbide's behind it. It's uh, like next to diamond as far as hardness goes. But we add that grit to the hard facing, and the hard facing itself is a, is a special metal matrix. It's a special alloy that's super hard, but it's also, when it's molten, we actually add those little particles of tungsten carbide grit right in there. And so that really protects the blade. A little, little bit of terminology here. We call this the wheel, okay? This, this chunk of metal here, we call this the tooth, all right? We call these metal plates here the carbides, and we call these parts here the diamonds. So, and then that's the, uh, that's the, uh, the hard facing. And it's rough, man. It would, now, we've got a customer brought a blade in here. He's like, this might have as much as 30,000 feet on it. This blade has never been in our shop before. And as you can see, hopefully you can see this, the teeth are in remarkably good condition. I mean, close to brand new condition, all right? Um, except for, obviously, the t places where there are no teeth. And the reasons there are no teeth is because the hard facing wore off and the blade got thin. Hopefully you can see how thin that is. That is about, I don't know, less than a quarter of an inch thick. Let's measure it here. Out here at the tip. Yeah, look at that, 200 thousandths. This blade is a half an inch thick. It's 500 thousandths thick. But, it, but once they wear down that far, and see back here at the tips of the calipers, you know, there's a couple inches back, it's still 300 thousandths. So you can see the majority of the wear comes right here in the last two or three inches. Now, it, 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 I don't know how well you can see this, this groove. But um, there's a huge groove there. Uh, and that normally will not, you will never see that on one of our blades. Because this is the area where we put that super heavy duty carbide. Uh, carbide um, reinforced uh, hard facing. But, but it does wear out and you gotta watch for that. Your saw operators ought to be watching this once or twice a day. And the way you check for it really is you can see it. You'll see a strip, and but you'll feel it too. It'll be a bump. It's harder, so much harder than the rest of the steel that it'll be a, a bump you can feel. You can also see the little particles of the tungsten carbide in it. You look down on it, it's like it's got a little bit of salt and pepper type of effect. As long as you can feel the bump and see the speckles, it's doing its job. But it's, it's an abrasive, it wears away, and when it wears away, you lose all your protection. So please don't let your blades wear out. If properly maintained, if, if your hard facing is kept up and never allowed to completely disappear, these blades will last almost indefinitely. We've never seen one that's been taken care of. We've never seen one wear out. We've seen very, very few of them ever hit this condition. And we've got people that are still running blades that they bought months ago and they've got, you know, 40, 50,000 feet on them. It's love for all of you to have lifetime blades that you never have to replace, and we'll help you do that. Hi, folks. Uh, now, this is the kind of blade we like to see come back in for a little touch-up work, okay? Now, you see, these are those little bumps I'm talking about. You can feel those just barely. They're still, they're still, you can see them, you can feel them. I wish I could find one that's got like that one you can barely see. It's got the little pock marks. Um, the first little bit they they'll show lots of pock marks. As you get down closer to the wheel metal, there's fewer and fewer because that carbide grit, even though it's much heavier than steel, doesn't sink clear to the bottom. So this is an ideal time to get some touch up for this. Now I want you to notice something here. Um, this area right in here, okay, 
that normally, if the if the hard facing was gone, that area would be significantly thin. But look at that, man. That's still brand new thickness right there in the place where where the blades were that groove that you see on that other video. So this is this is the state we want to see them to get a little more hard facing added to them. This crew has been in Kabul. Uh, I hear they are averaging something like 2,500 to 3,000 feet a day. These guys are maniacs. And uh, this blade has, I think, uh, five days on it, maybe six. It's knocked a few PDCs off. Um, and that's what cobble and concrete will do. So there's not a lot you can do about that. I mean, um, what you want to watch though is when, in addition to your daily um, inspections on these things, what you want to watch is this part of the blade right here. When you lose a PDC insert, just keep an eye on this. You don't want this, what we call the shank or the finger of the wheel. Don't want it to wear too much. Makes it a lot easier to repair. If it, if it disappears, then it's hard to put a tooth back on. But if it's just missing one, it's gonna go and go and go. So we're gonna put some new hard face on this today and they'll get another 12, five or 15,000 feet out of this thing and hopefully bring it back and hopefully it'll look just like this and maybe maybe we'll replace a tooth or two um, at that time. But this is this is a prime example of what happened, what, what the, a good practice is. You can see right here, it's just barely starting to wear into the wheel itself. But this is a prime example of a blade operator keeping a close eye on things and getting it to us to where we can extend this life for many weeks to come. Very happy to see this and uh, uh, it's, a, it's a good example.